All of the votes are in. Let's give the news to the House guests. By a vote of eight to one, Izzy, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. She's an Emmy-winning news journalist and one of the longest-running hosts in TV history, celebrating 25 seasons of Big Brother. And today, she released her much-anticipated audio memoir, But First, God, where she revisits pivotal moments in her personal life and her career. Julie Chen Moon Vest, welcome back. Thank you for having me back. (laughs) Okay, I just saw that clip right there, and I had to ask. Obviously, this season of Big Brother has had more twists and turns than ever, so I need to know, who are you rooting for? My ideal final two would be Suri and Matt, and I'm happy with either one of them winning. I mean, Suri's kind of, you know, been running that house. Yeah. Can she take it to the end? And I really like both her and Matt. I really do love that show. I love that. But I also love that now you have this audio memoir and you are going and not leaving anything on the table. And you talk about your 2018 exit from the talk that was kind of abrupt and fans were up in arms. What happened? I never uh, revealed it before, but in the audio memoir, I talk about how, you know, when I gave that public statement, I said, you know, I've decided to leave. It was actually decided for me Mm. by um, two former co-hosts who uh, said that if I came back, for season nine that they wouldn't be there. So I I had to leave. And that mm. was, wow. yeah. It's one thing if you feel like you've had the rug pulled out from under you. Yeah. It's another thing when you have it done by people that you were so close to yeah. and you consider friends. So that was a hard time. But the good news is when you fall down and you look up, Whose hand is extended? Mm-hmm. God's God. hand. God. I mean, God. it was all of those events, yeah. you know, that led me to start a relationship with God after 48 years of ignoring him. Wow. I mean, so I'm actually very thankful. You know, if if that didn't happen, I think I'd just be working my busy little life, you know, with so my false crazy. idol, my Show, career. Yeah, showing up every day. That's yeah. so wild, though, how it takes those things to happen. And, and crazy enough in your memoir, you actually say that it wasn't the first time. Ooh that you were actually trying to get pushed out of the show. Who else wanted you off the show? Well, season one, you know, for any show, it's there's a lot of um, growing pains. Yes. yes. And I had gone on vacation and only to come back to a very icy room mm. to find out that um, while I was gone, there was a movement. And part of that movement was someone that I was the closest to on the show, which was Leah Remini. Wow. Leah Remini and I, you know, we had gone on vacation together. So, um, you know, ultimately, she and someone else went to the network and said, um, you know, her or us next season. And the decision was made that I would come back and she didn't get her contract picked up. So we didn't speak for eight years. I even ran into her and she tried to apologize. And I was so foolish and hard-hearted and stubborn and it took my personal relationship with God yeah. knowing God mm. and knowing the power of forgiveness that I reached out to her but it was God's hands I was at a party where her husband was um Angelo yeah Angelo he's a band leader yeah. you know yeah. and he was singing and we saw him up on stage and we talked and you know I said Let's take a selfie for, for Leah. And then I called her. And now we laugh. We're closer than ever now. But it was like eight years of my foolishness that were wasted. I don't know. I'm a Scorpio. I can hold on to some things, we especially are when it comes to my Scorpios, money. Scorpios. You but know? crazy enough, I was looking at the title. And I'm like, wow, but first God. And now that I'm hearing you say all these stories, I'm like, ah. Oh. I get it, and I love that. I really do. Mm -hmm. Now, you also openly have spoke out, you know, very candidly about some cosmetic surgery that you had early on in your career, but you tried to keep a more recent procedure a secret, and that didn't go as planned. (laughs) What happened? What did you have done? And why did you try to keep it a secret? Okay, so I leave the talk. I have a lot more free time on my hands. I'm only doing Big Brother, and I decide, you know, before I turn 50, I wouldn't mind, you know, getting some preventative work done, yeah. a rejuvenation, also known as a facelift. 
<laughs> you and keep it real. You do I live in Beverly that. Hills. I do live in Beverly Hills, and you know, gravity, gravity usually wins, you know, can't fight that. So I had this lower facelift done, and I had um, an allergic reaction to this ointment. So I had to go to the hospital, and you know, I don't care, I have bandages on, no, unrecognizable. No one is gonna know it's me. So I go to the hospital to go get this, you know, reaction checked out, and I'm thinking, I can deny that's me. Who is gonna know? <laughs> but. The photo. How will they know? How will they know? You know why? Because silly me, foolish me, had a handbag with my monogram, no. JCM, on the outside of it, so there was no denying that that was me. I so. love this about you. The fact that they're putting these pictures up here and you're looking at them and you're like, and that was me. But again, you called this book but first, God, and um, you actually said that you ignored him for 48 years. So obviously, this was a huge change. Why create this book now with this title? Because once this memoir, this <laughs> memoir, because right, this audio original. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love. We just talked about this. Yes, it's not in book form. Yeah. It's only something you can buy on CD or download it wherever yeah. audiobooks are sold. Uh, because once I found God, mm -hmm. I found out. Oh. Not only did he create all of us to glorify him and have a personal relationship with him, he must come first. That is the greatest commandment. It's in the Bible. It's all over the Bible. Yeah. It's in Deuteronomy. It's in the New Testament. It's Old Testament. You have to love God first and foremost with all your heart, mind, and soul. But right behind that, we have to love one another. Yeah. So I came out with it now because once I found him, I became a new person. I had forgiveness in my heart. What? peace in my life, faith, hope, you know, anything that comes my way, I know I'm not alone because he's fighting my battles for me and he's protecting me. And there's a reason for everything. It's about his will, not my own. So I want everyone to experience the peace and hope and faith and love and understanding that I have gained as a result of my personal relationship with God, putting him first, always. Run everything past him first. I'm it. blown away by this. When I tell you that I truly believe your transparency of your relationship with God is going to change people's yes. lives, just hearing you talk right now, me and Justin are going to talk about this 100%. later. We're about to get our lives right with Christ. And then let me know where to go get this right, too, because you're looking real good right now. Okay? Julie, really, it is always a pleasure chatting with you. But First God is available now wherever you get your audiobooks. New episodes of Big Brother air every Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday night on CBS and stream on Paramount+. Plus.